weekend. Thank you, Dakari. And we turn to the weather now as you get a look in downtown Indianapolis here on a Friday. Long sprint toward the holiday mm -hmm. weekend. We are finally here. Looks good. No doubt about it. Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown is with us now. Looks good. Doesn't feel great, though. Very hot. Hot. Um, hottest day of the year so far, actually. Yeah. Um, heat, not so much with humidity, but definitely with the heat. Showers and storms. We had a severe thunderstorm warning in the 4 o'clock hour. No longer seeing that, but still a chance for a strong storm tonight. The best news I can give you here is that a cold front will slide through tonight. Mm. Cooler conditions are expected tomorrow, but humidity remains high. And Labor Day and most of next week looks absolutely amazing. Nice. So, yeah, we're going to bring you some good weather. Um, but today, hottest day of the year. Yeah. Um, as we look at it, 96. The last time we saw temperatures um, this warm uh, would have been July 5th of 2022. Um, now, 2022. 2022. Remember that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. Um, and even further back than that, because today is our seventh consecutive 90 degree day, we haven't seen a trend this warm since 2020. So uh, it's been a while for that as well. Either way, a lot of this going down into the record books as this kind of heat is um, not necessarily uh, what we expect at this time. Temperatures should be at this point in the 80s. That's our normal. As we look here, we do have a special weather statement that's out. We are not dealing with thunderstorm warnings, but we are dealing with special weather statements, special weather statements because the storm is not strong enough for a thunderstorm warning. You can see near Columbus there, um, you see some heavier downpours, a few strikes of lightning. This is headed towards Hope, moving very slowly as most of these storms have been slow mover, movers. I'm expecting at 5.30, um, so in about 10 minutes, for this special weather statement to uh, come to an end. Heavier downpour right now, you see um, just north of Bloomington there, up 69. Um, Bloomington, that heavier downpour that you see there will continue to move off to the east. Some scattered showers continuing to move off to the east as well, moving into the state. These heavy or downpour sitting just north of Clinton, traveling off to the east near Rockville. Showers, storms, nothing severe at the moment, but we'll watch for that as we move forward. Heavier downpours tonight expected to lift north of Interstate 70 and to stay there with a chance of a stray shower along and south of Interstate 70, but the bulk of the activity moving north and staying north here. All right, so showers will linger into your Saturday. Saturday is not a wet day, old day, but definitely expecting some rain. Right now, we're at 96 for Indy. You're at 77 for Columbus because you've had some rain and you are rain cooled. 94 for Bloomington and 89 right now um, in Kokomo. As far as what it feels like, currently it feels like the upper 90s. Once again, we're talking 105 plus when you're talking about those heat advisories, and we're not there. 97 is what it feels like in Muncie. Now, temperatures will begin to fall off tonight. Uh, it's going to be warm throughout the night, but you'll feel more comfortable tomorrow after this system moves out and it's a slow system to move out 72 overnight starting your day tomorrow in the 70s as far as the best chance of rain it's going to be early in the day we diminish some of those rain chances as we get into the afternoon hour seeing more of a stray shower or storm yes an isolated strong storm possible in the southern tip of the state tomorrow we're in the 80s humidity remains high 80 degree temperatures for us tomorrow and as we look into sunday 85. Sunday looks like the better day of the weekend as we bring a drier air mass to you and lower humidity. Hensley Legal Group seven day forecast temperatures over the next seven days remaining pretty comfortable as we cool things down. Next week we're talking 70s to 80s near to below normal with sunshine, lower humidity and light winds.